Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you um, how I did this DIY swag curtain in my guest bathroom shower. I did a video, um, a bathroom tour video a while ago and I will have it linked down below. Um, and I got a ton of questions about how did I do this swag. So in this video I'm going to show you how I did it. So let's jump right on in. Okay, so I have taken off the swag, and as you can see, I just have these two panels. Never mind my hands, because that's the powder from the cleaning gloves I was using. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, I got this swag set as a, I got the swag and the two panels as a set from Ross. It was on clearance for only $6. I think the regular price was like $12.99. So the first thing I did was I had this double rod set up. I have the rod at the bottom here is the rod that the actual shower curtain sits on that people use when they get in and out the shower. So it's actually a double. It's got a plastic one on the back, the plastic white one I got from the Dollar Tree, and then the one on the front I also got from Ross. It's got sort of like a weave pattern, but that's the one that people use to get in and out of the shower. That goes back and forth without no issues. Excuse my step stool, but I I'm going to step on that so I can show you guys what I need there's to do. There's space right there, and there's space right there. I'm leaving those two spaces there for a reason, okay? So now, for this DIY, you're going to need two things aside for your swag and your panel. Zip ties like these. I got these from Lowe's, but you can get these from um, the Dollar Tree. And you're gonna need some double-sided tape. I also got the double-sided tape from the Dollar Tree. So, okay, what you're gonna do, you're gonna measure out your swag. I kind of fold it over like this, where I can kind of see where the midpoint is, like this. Okay, so this is where I want my midpoint to be. Hope you can see that. And I have it folded over like this, okay. And I'm going to grab this end, and then this is kind of like where the center is going to be. I'm just eyeballing it because I'm just that kind of person. I eyeball things. And um, what I'm going to do is this is where, this is kind of where this end should fall compared to the other end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire tie and with this on this side, Hope you can see this. Pull this over. See how this is on this side? Do it tight. All right. Now you're gonna have something that looks like this. Okay, I have a piece of double-sided tape on the other side of this, and um, when you put this swag up, you want this part to fall over somewhat. So put it there. Just put it right over on top there. Then you're going to take this part and that's just going to fall back that way. And you're going to take a look at it because you want it to be able to kind of like hang down a little bit. So pull it from the top. This is where you're going to decide um, how you want it to be. I want it to be something like that. So I'm gonna hold it in place and I'm gonna take my other zip tie and I'm on, I'm doing it just like I did it on that side. I'm on this side. I'm on this side of the, um, on the front side of the, the rod and zip tie it in place. It's not gonna move not unless you move it. You can tighten it up if you want to like that. Okay, now I'm going to cut off the excess of the uh, zip ties on either side. Then the final step is to wrap the end of the swag around. So I'm going to bring it around the back side of the shower curtain rod and pull it forward. And then I can adjust it to make it as neat as I want it to be or if I want it wide or I want it narrow. The key is go around the back side and bring it forward. And that is really it on how to do this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you actually try this out, 
please take a picture and email it to me. My email address is in the about section of my channel. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.